In the meantime, nine people are injured after a shooting along a popular beach broadwalk in Hollywood, Florida. Police say that a fight broke out around 7 p.m. last night, and witnesses describe seeing people running for their lives. Today is the 150th day of 2023, and so far, the U.S. has suffered 263 mass shootings. 327 people have been killed in those incidents. Both those figures are the highest ever recorded this this early in the year. So CBS News national correspondent Manuel Bohorkas is in the city of Hollywood, north of Miami, with more on this latest shooting. Good morning. The Memorial Day holiday meant there were thousands of people out and about along this popular stretch of beach. Now it's a crime scene. The packed Hollywood Beach Broadwalk turned into chaos on Memorial Day, sending beachgoers running for cover after the sound of gunfire rang out. I heard several gunshots, seeing a crowd of people running through here, and then we heard like three more shots down the street. Four victims, including a teenager, and they keep hearing gunshots. Police say the first 911 calls came in just before 7 p.m. after reports of gunshots that started as a fight between two groups. To have people and complete reckless disregard of the safety of, of the public and to have an altercation with guns in a public setting with thousands of people around them is beyond reckless. He's more serious. Video of the moments after the shooting captured a chaotic scene of multiple injured people lying on the sand as first responders tended to their wounds. <laughs> Nine people were transported to local hospitals, including several children, the youngest just one year old. I saw a young man who was on the ground bleeding and they were applying pressure to try to prevent the bleeding. I also saw a lady that was very upset. Um, I think she had a wound to her leg. Police say they have one person of interest in custody, but they are still looking for another suspect. It's unfortunate when we have law-abiding citizens come to our beach to enjoy the day that gets disrupted by a group of criminals who engage in this type of violent activity. Of the nine victims, one was taken into surgery. The others are said to be in stable condition. Police say they will continue to have a heavy presence here as they investigate. Anne-Marie, Nancy, 